Hello everybody and welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can incorporate, uh, well, and build like just general townhouse designs that will look amazing in your guys' cities. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, let's get right into it. So something I start off like, oh yeah, I'm sorry, I want to mention. This isn't going to be like me showing you exactly how to build this. Um, I mean, obviously you can see here, you know, but I'm going to show you guys some details that you can do and kind of like mix and match. Um, so that you can make your townhouse like, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but so that you can make it like a little different and it doesn't look like the same thing, copy and paste it every time. So the first thing I always like to start with guys is I like making like, um, like an outline kind of of like the height and usually townhouses floors are like set off the ground by about three blocks. And for this townhouse that I'm going to show you, it's three windows across, but I mean, you guys can also change that too. Like you can make the, uh, or actually I'm sorry, two windows across, but you guys can also change that as well is like, you can make the townhouses like three windows across or four windows across. I wouldn't go anything beyond four windows across. Cause once you do that, they aren't like really, I, don't know, I feel like they aren't really townhouses anymore. Then they're kind of just like separate like things, separate buildings. But I mean, yeah, you know, whatever your heart desires. But uh, for this video, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna show you just with a, like a two, two by two frame here. So we're gonna go four here and that kind of sets up our, our frame. Now, okay, you'll probably notice that I'm building out of red, uh, red concrete. And um, that is because I wanna show you guys like some colors that you can try and like textures that you can try doing with the house. So whatever you want your like main color of the house to be um, or the townhouse, just like, do that instead of the red concrete where I put it. So as you can see, I've got like a four block gap here and you know, two blocks in between the windows. And you know, I got the four high windows, with, you know, two block window gaps. So now what I do is I usually outline the inside of the windows, with like trap doors or like trap doors here. But the nice thing about that too, is like you can, you know, change it up a little bit too. Like if you wanted to, you can do, you know, trap doors here instead so that it's like, um, so you have like this like middle divider part to it. Um, and yeah, you can do the trap doors here. So you can put them there or you can like, also you can do like up here or you can do both up here and down here. It's kind of up to you. Um, I really encourage you to guys to just kind of like experiment with it and just see like what design that you like the most and which design you like the best because you know, that, that's all really building it. So you know, you're just playing around with designs and uh, seeing what you like. So yeah, you know, there's a bunch of window designs you can do, but um, again, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna just do this one. Now, when I build, I usually do tinted glass behind the window, but I mean, that's also up to you. Like you can use light gray glass, white glass. I mean, heck, you can use yellow glass if you want. I would not advise you to do that because yellow glass just looks a little weird sometimes, but it is it's something you can do because um, you should be creative when you're building. But um, yeah, okay, so now that we're on that, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll stack this up a couple times just so I can show you. So I'm gonna stack it up twice so that it's three high, but you know, you can also do townhouses that are two, like two stories tall or, you know, various things like that. And actually this should have been, these windows up here should have been three, but yeah, usually I do the high, like the, the higher windows up, like taller, but I'm not gonna do that for this one because yeah, I'll just do it like this for now. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna show you guys like um, how to do overhangs because overhangs I think are something that people struggle with a lot. And you should make the overhang like a color that matches like with the same color as your townhouse. So what I like to do when I'm doing overhangs is I like to do the block up there and then have it come out a little ways. Like that, and then even come out a little bit more so that I've got like about a two block overhang and I'll do like the stair pattern alternating like this to give these like little nice little like um i'm not sure what they're called in real life but these like little uh these little points and things there but yeah after that i'll go on top of there and i'll place that and then i'll do like a dark oak trap door on top now there you kind of have like just a very like simple townhouse design um when you're doing like the entrances into these things you kind of just like do the same like window size but you put it one more block down and then you swap the um the glass out for like a door um, and you also like remove like most of the details in here because they wouldn't work anymore. But yeah, you just kind of like make a door. Um, just need to be doing anything too like you know difficult. Um, if you if you guys like actually plan on doing like interior to these, like you'll probably want to use like dark oak trapdoors there. 
or sorry, not dark oak trap doors, but dark oak doors, so that you can actually get into them. But for the for the purpose of this, I'm just kind of doing, you know, the door that I had over there previously. And these will have interior someday, so we'll probably change out the doors at some point. But for now, we kind of just have them look like nice. We just have them like looking nice, not not necessarily worrying about the functionality of them. So now I'll go ahead and show you guys how I do these steps. Um, I just kind of go like this and repeat this design going down until you reach the street level, just like that. And put those in there, goody. And then the next thing I do is I kind of like line the outside of these with um, like the railings because you don't want to fall when you're going up the stairs. That would not be good. And uh, yeah, so there we go, just like that. Okay, now that I've done that, um, also like if you're connecting them to other townhouses, you'll put them down here and you can like do like little grass patches or some townhouses have like where they have like a basement like sub level. Um, I would recommend looking on Google Earth for inspiration on that, but I will not be doing one of those in this video. Okay, there we go. I'm just kind of randomizing the leaves patterns a little bit. So now let's like talk about actual details, like how, how do you train, like how do you make this like, not just like, you know, your plain building or whatever and kind of turn it into something special and unique. So looking at the designs that I have here, first of all, one thing you can do for sure is you can add like banners on the outsides of your windows. And these are like, um, these like are representative of shutters in real life. And so those are always cool to like do, but you know, one, one downside of them is they do render out from a distance. So you can only really see it when you're up close. Um, another thing you can do is you can add like flower pots along the windows, like up here. And I usually do berries and then I grow them. Um, but you know, you can also do like, uh, like these, these would look good. I think. Especially if your windows are higher, you can do like those. But for the most part, you probably wanna keep those a little smaller. Or I mean like even you don't have to do that, you can do like leaves as well. And um, you know, that all just kind of changes them. Um, but yeah, so like that too. Um, another big thing that we've been trying to do a little more, although I didn't use them on these townhouses, you can do air conditioning units, which is very common. Um, something you can do is you can just do iron blocks, put your iron trap door, uh, let's do stone button and stew trip wire hook too. And what you can do is you can kind of just put these like along the windows as well. And you can kind of just have it sit like there. Also, I forgot to say, you should probably grab a birch trap door because you want to make it look like it's attached to the building somewhat. Or you can even like put it in with the window too. You can put it on the same, like instead of putting it there, you can put it here and then you don't have to worry about attaching it to the building. And then yeah, but I think it looks better when it's set out from the building because it kind of gives the building a little bit of extra depth. Um, another thing you can do is you can do like these little overhang things. And again, like it depends on the color of your building. Like, you know, if you're doing like a brick building, you should do like sandstone for the over cornices and, or for the overhang thingies. And like, you don't want to do like brick on brick cause that would not look good. You kind of want to vary it up a little bit. So, you know, another thing is you can do, and I mean, there's like a, there's a whole bunch of overhangs which you could do. You know, there's always this design that we like to use. Um, and you can even like outline the windows if you want, like, like that. And um, that kind of just adds a little more flair to the build as well. Um, as you can see here, I kind of put something over the door. So like, kind of like, um, just like to like protect you from the rain if you're coming in or things like that. But um, yeah, so design for that is you can do like your trap doors here and just kind of have it covered up. Um, sort of like this. And then yeah, that's kind of all you really need to do really got to go much further than that um you know i try to do some more like you know intricate stuff for the doorways because they do vary that up on like actual real life townhouses um and you know here's another example of overhangs too um i did quite like this design where you put it on the upper and the bottom part it kind of just gives that extra little bit of depth to the building as well but yeah now um look, now that we've kind of like experimented with multiple designs that you can do to like change up your windows um like Something bigger that I do is I like try to mess around with coloring and not make them all the same color. So I'm gonna show you a couple of uh, things here. So for this one, let's do like a brick townhouse. So the most common textures that we use for brick townhouses is we use brick block, 
granite and dirt with roots or roots with dirt, dirt with, and that kind of gives that nice like little brick color but if you want something that's like a little darker than that you can do like uh, packed mud and mud bricks um, I think that gives a really good like brown texture of the building almost oh shoot Sorry about that. Pack mud and mud bricks. Good. See, like that? That's a little brown. Um, you know, on these ones, I'll show you too. We did, like, for the white ones, we did a uh, cor bone block with quartz bricks. You know, you can do gravel, stone, you know, jungle, strip jungle wood, um, and oak planks. And you can do light gray concrete powder with light gray wool. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like, it really is up to you. And I really do like encourage you guys, like, like want you to play around with these because like this is what makes the townhouses like not boring and repetitive is you gotta change them up. And like, honestly too, you know, if you're building like a, you know, a different styled city, um, you know, you can even, oh shoot. You can even experiment with the colors. I mean like, it really all does depend on like the style of your city and like what colors you want to have on that street. Like here, I'll show you. Like you know, red concrete probably not the best, but um, you can do like uh, hold on, you can do like strip manger vlog and that stuff to make like a really nice. Oh. Uh, okay, I spelled that wrong. So yeah, you can make a nice red townhouse there, and you know, obviously when you do that, you know, just change the overhangs this overhang is pretty universal you can use the black overhang that i showed you guys here like with any townhouse um or you can like actually just like fully remove the overhang which is something they do in real life too they just like get rid of it and then yeah but i mean that's about it guys like be creative you know um use this as a base for your townhouses you know get ideas for designs and then just like really like when you're building these like just you don't need to copy anything down but like with the details just copy like like I showed in the very beginning when it was just all the red concrete, copy that down a couple times, go through, change the colors of them, and then like, you know, add the details after. Because I think that's how you make townhouses without making them look too repetitive and that stuff. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please let me know because I did try to do a little bit of a different style here. Instead of just showing you block for block how to build something, I instead wanted to try and like, I don't know, almost like teach you guys like how you can, um, how you can be creative and just kind of change up designs, experiment with them. Um, that way, when you build the townhouse, you're more confident in yourself and your abilities and you just play around with it, have more fun with it. So yeah, if you guys liked it, if you leave a like, subscribe, let me know in the comments what you think of this new kind of tutorial. Um, I won't be doing them for all of them, but townhouses I figured was an easy one to do because I build them quite often and they're small builds. But uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time.